Welcome to the Vancouver and Fraser Valley Real Estate Market Forecast. This is an update for the current sell-through rates and the market trend indicators for April 22nd, 2011. We review 13 market areas throughout the Lower Mainland and consult with experts in all of those areas to find out market trends to see how they're changing. Firstly, let's quickly review uh, April 22nd, Richmond is down. This is down every single week since the middle of February. They used to be our golden child. Uh, Burnaby here at uh, North Vancouver setting the, the record for this two-week period with a 35% through monthly sell-through. They've also got 83 and 87% MTI, which is their inventories are decreasing. That's a very, very high sell-through rate on their new listings. The Fraser Valley has seen diminished sales to absolutely dismal records here. Uh, this is a 10% sell through in Maple Ridge, a 7% in Mission. Let's move on to February the 4th and follow this uh, right through to today. I will do a complete overview on the STR and the MTI indexes at the end of this broadcast. On February 4th, when we first started this index, Richmond had set an all-time record with a $200,000 increase in about six weeks. We found that to be a 32% sell-through. That did not move over into the Burnaby Coquitlam area at the time. We saw a little increase in East Vancouver and the Fraser Valley was very very cool. Uh, White Rock had strong numbers also but a very limited market. The numbers are hard to to substantiate. A month later, March 18th, uh, Richmond has diminished. The Chinese quarter all picked up quite quite strong sales and so did uh, Surrey, Maple Ridge and Langley. Do go through each one of these reports and you will see here on April 1st Burnaby set an all-time record with 46 percent sell-through, the highest we've ever seen. They were at 101 percent of their sales for new listings ratio. This is the highest MTI we have seen. This means they're going to have a lot less listings in the next month. Here we saw Langley and Surrey with a little bit of strength and then we're back to April 15th in which all these numbers reduced and back to April 22nd with reduced numbers all the way through. Let's go now to review the STR and the MTI indices and how they're actually calculated. This is an explanation of sell-through rates, or some would call absorption rates. It's the sales versus the total listings for the month. So here we have 20 sales on a monthly rate, and we have a total inventory, if you count the sales, to be as much as 100. So that's 80 unsold listing, 20 sales. This gives us a 20% sell-through rate. This is how we calculate what is stable. If we look at the price increases or decreases each month, and this is for the city of Abbotsford from the year 205 to 211, we can correlate that with the sell-through rate. Here we have prices going up $8,000 a month and we have a sell-through rate of virtually 50 percent. We have 35 percent, 30, 25 and down here we're down to uh, 12, 15 percent sell-through rates. Now for stability we're looking for on this long-term history we're looking for between 17 and 23 percent to be a stable market less than this our market will fall higher than this our market is going up by these sort of rates now let's review the market trend indicator this is where we project the following month's inventory levels this is based on sales versus new listing ratios so from the last month we had 80 listings left over from the 20 that we sold of the 100 and this particular month we also have 60 new listings. So out of those 20 sales, out of 60, that is going to increase our inventory. That gives us a total of 20 over 60, gives us a 33% 33% MTI. And that will mean we're going to end up with 40 extra listings for the month bring us for a total of 120 listings. So assuming sales are the same, we will have more inventory for the same amount of demand, which will put pressure on the prices. 
How did we determine this? Let's have a look at our numbers again. We started off with following the price changes per month as much as $8,000 increases in some months and as much as a $12,000, $15,000 decreases in some months. And we correlated that with the increasing or decreasing inventory levels. So in yellow here, the MTI showing us as much as a 70% sell through in some months, 100% sell through in some months, and lows here of 20%, 30% sell throughs. So when we see something in the range between 49 and 63% sell through in the month, we will have a stable market based on all of this criteria. Thank you for taking the time to review our our reports. Every two weeks we interview top uh, experts in each area and there are podcasts not every week but uh, we're interviewing people every single week for one area or the other look forward to continued updates for market changes thank you for your time you can go to vancouver bye bye for now